Welcome to the Delphi tutorials provided free of charge by Riddlersoft.com. Now these will teach you how to program from scratch. If you have no programming experience in Delphi, these will get you programming in Delphi. Now I have just loaded up Delphi and you will notice that we have Form 1 and Unit 1. That is the standard. If, if this is the case with you, click on File and Close All and we do not want to save changes because we're not starting off with one of those. What we want to do is we want to click on File, New click on other and then click on console application right now this is all we need this console application and this is all I will use for all my projects so you'll have to remember how to get to this step every project so I'm not going to um, show you every project how to open this window up but anyway here we are we have project one now first off because this is the very first pr tutorial we're going to learn about variables now, how do we declare a variable, you may ask? Or use a command called var, V-A-R, short for variable. Then, on the next line, what we're going to have is we're going to have, I'm just going to put a variable in here called test, and we're going to set it to a string. Now, a string will contain text, or anything you can type in the keyboard, that is what will be contained in the variable test. Now, oh, I'm just going to show you how to actually use a string variable. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go test, colon, and equals. And then, so that means that the variable test will take on the value of whatever I put on the other side of this. Now, because it's text, we use a speech mark. But if you notice, it's a single speech mark. And I'm going to make it have the text, hello and then you close it with a speech mark and you put a semicolon on the end of it right? and then we're going to actually show test on the screen by going right ln test and again a semicolon to finish it off now right and right ln they're two different commands and I'll show you what they do but first off I need to put read ln on the next line like so now if you if you press F9 to run it you'll see that this happens and it says hello right let's explain how this works first off test the d variable test has the data or becomes hello then we show test on the screen now I said I'd explain what right and right ln are if I, if I output test twice you'll notice if I run it now you see that hello is on the first line and hello is on the second line that is because right ln will write test on the screen and then go to the next line. If I change this one just to write, it will write test out on the, um, the variable test, um, in this case hello on the screen, and then it will continue on the same line. So now hello is next to hello like so. So that is the difference. Write keeps it, um, write will just output it, write till then outputs the text and then sends the cursor onto the next line. And then the reader then pauses the display like that so that we can actually see it without that it would flash off and close before we could have a chance to read it okay so that is v oops I'll just minimize that um, that is very that's just the basics of programming and what I'm actually going to teach you in the next one is how to actually c construct your program so that you can actually understand them we're going to learn about how you must annotate your programs and also the different types of variable types that you can have. We've only looked at string but there's many others. So you will start to actually build up a picture over this course of these tutorials how to program and I hope this should be um, a great deal of help to you.